the World Health Organization teamed up with Red Hat to create a revolutionary learning platform for healthcare workers. And that's what Red Hat is all about. We take the power of open source um, as a source for good, to solve the world's most pressing problems that are shared, and for that we need shared solutions. It's not only the right thing to do, it needs to be done. Enter Red Hat Open Innovation Labs, bringing together the best of open source principles, technologies and practices to ramp up the pace of innovation. But how did they take a group of strangers and turn them into an efficient, tight-knit team in eight weeks to build this new learning experience platform, or LXP? The residency program is structured around building the high-performing teams. We want to empower them to embrace the open technology, open culture, open practices. We have the technical things, the technical bits and pieces, making sure that they have the best practices in development. And we have the cultural pieces, things like the agile way of working, the lean way of working. So it's no more Red Hat, it's no more the customer, it's one big team. So as the weeks go on, that we have the WHO teams now starting to run and build for themselves and own it for themselves. The team is really going to take this forward and feel a sense of ownership and a sense of empowerment to, um, to continue um, growing. And while residencies are typically held in person, COVID-19 meant figuring out how to make this all work virtually. Piece of cake, right? People from all around the world, full remote. I would say it started like a disaster movie. We were really concerned and nervous if it would work and whether the teams would gel. And after, I would say after about a week, a week and a half, I had the same feelings as if I was in a co-located residency. We've been able to uh, interact in such a way uh, that I think I've grown stronger bonds with my coworkers. Uh, without having met them in person. Ultimately, the residency is not just about building software. We want to change their mindset, their approach on how they want to discover, how they want to iterate, how they fail and learn from that failure, how they experiment. And the most important thing really is about collaboration. I was just surprised to see how much time we spent just uh, allowing team members to have fun, to, to think about different things. Is that a chicken nugget that looks like Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere is something, you know, there's something to share about themselves, something personal. And that made us feel a lot more in the closer with each other. Taking time to get to know one another builds the kind of trust teams need to solve problems together later on. And while a few practices from the Open Practice Library are designed to build relationships, the team stayed focused on the goal. Incorporating product development practices like priority sliders, an exercise that lets every team member relay what aspects of a product they think should be tackled first. We had to find kind of a compromise among our team members because everybody in the team had a different opinion because the product designers had an opinion on they want to focus on design first. And as a platform guy, I want the platform to be from training. It turns out that sometimes being on the same page can take a good deal of effort, but aligning the team and creating a shared plan to move forward means that effort paid off. Event storming should essentially tell a story of a user's journey in trying to accomplish some sort of task. Different people share their thoughts and they build a, as complete as possible user story at the very beginning before starting developing and implementing practice. These exercises, ranging from lighthearted fun to build culture and safety, to tools that help continuously deliver great solutions, build on each other, creating a customised approach. No two development teams are the same, so neither are Red Hat Open Innovation Labs residencies. The Red Hat approach is a system that can break down barriers, improve team performance and deliver continuous value through sprints, getting the highest impact from the technology and the team. During every sprint, the architecture evolved. Started with something simple, permeable, and then we started adding more features. Every week I was very impressed to see the progress, how close they were becoming, and how they evolved as a cohesive team that was performing really, really well. The team can actually effectively complete uh, a task in the right way with using the best practices available and achieve the goal. It's about doing it right. Let's practice new culture here. Let's come up with new ideas here. 
so, did the team come out of this feeling more confident and better equipped to expand the LXP? Yeah, this is exactly what we wanted to do. And, and this engagement kind of gave us that. And we actually found a rhythm, I should say, to be able to comp you know, complement each other very well. And then I think everybody stood up and everybody delivered. And uh, it was a really exciting time to it, I should say. What was really interesting to see is that how far they got over that eight weeks. The WHO now has a platform for delivering the highest quality health learning programs to those who need them and has gained new insight into what's possible through technology and teamwork. But I think WHO and Red Hat with this residency achieved the biggest level of team dynamic that I think we have seen even though they were virtual. So that even takes it to the next level.